Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a master list of every single tech tool that I'm currently using in my online business. It's my hope in sharing this that you get some ideas for new tools that you could be using to help you create a more streamlined, efficient business. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Louise. Here on this channel, I talk all about building an online business. So if that is something you are wanting to do or you're currently in the process of, definitely hit subscribe down below. My specialty is tech, so I have tested out a lot of different tools and these are my favorites and the ones that I've decided to use in my business. First things first, let's start with one of the most important ones and that is the one that keeps me organized and on top of all of my to-dos. The tool that I use for that is called Asana. I love this tool because it is simple, it's user-friendly, yet it is so powerful. It is my entire to-do list, so I no longer use a physical planner. All my organization for my business and personal life is all digital, thanks to Asana. So this is my to-do list. This is how I plan out any of my projects. This is how I add systems into my business and streamline things overall. So. This is an essential one that I would recommend you have in your business, a project management tool of some form. And then Asana is my favorite. Next up is Squarespace. This is how I am able to have my own custom website and blog. Obviously your website is super important. This is your digital home base for your business. It's where people are going to come to buy from you, to reach out to you for collaborations or to work with you. So it's essential that you have this and that if someone goes to Google and types in your business's name that you pop up. Next up is Kartra. This is a really powerful one. As you get more advanced with your online marketing, you will love a tool like this. This is what allows me to have any sales funnels, to host my online courses, to create any of the landing or sales pages that I need for launches, to have my own affiliate program where I can turn my clients into affiliates. And if they refer a friend, then I actually give them a commission. So that's a fantastic marketing strategy. Um, what else does Kartra do? It honestly does so much for my business. It does all of our email marketing. So I no longer need to use an external email marketing tool. It's all built into Kartra. So not only for building my email list, but for sending out newsletters and then for sending any follow-up emails automatically that I need to students that enroll in my online programs. It is also all of my checkout systems and I love how simple and streamlined it has made my business overall. Having all of those things under one umbrella has really simplified things and significantly reduced the number of tech headaches that I have. The next one is one I talk about a lot and that is Canva, specifically Canva Pro. It is definitely worth the upgrade because of a few additional features you get that are just so, so good. Canva is what allows us to create any graphic that we could need in our business. So that includes graphics for social media. That means graphics for our website and sales pages, any slides that we want to do for presentations or webinars. And honestly, the list goes on. So highly recommend that you use this tool because it really simplifies the process of creating graphics and it can allow you to up your game when it comes to your visual marketing. I have a ton of videos on how to use Canva uh, well, and a lot of these tools that I'm going to mention today. So I'll put some helpful links for you in the description below as well. The next one is a very commonly used tool, but really important to have. And that is Google Workspace, previously called G Suite. This is the collection of tools from Google. So Gmail, Google Drive, Google Sheets and more. Um, these are really handy tools that we do use regularly in the business for sharing information and then storing files as well. This is also how you can set up a professional email for your business. So rather than having your business name at gmail.com, you can actually have your business name at your business's website.com. The next one I wanted to mention is Loom. Loom is a phenomenal tool. I use it for many different things. So first I use it to film my lessons for my online courses. This allows me to share my screen, but then also have my smiling face like in the bottom of the video so that I can make that video even more engaging. 
So I use it for online courses. I will also use it sometimes to film YouTube videos. And I also use it when communicating with my team and outsourcing tasks. Instead of having to write out complicated instructions, instead I can just quickly hit record, I can film everything that they need to do, and then I quickly send over a link. Honestly, this is such a phenomenal tool. Next up is Zapier. I have to mention this because this is going to allow you to automate some things in your business that you didn't even know that you could automate. Zapier allows you to connect different tools together. So I would definitely encourage you to go check out their website, plug in the tools that you're using and see if there are a few ways that you could get more efficient with your workflows. It's really cool. Basically what it's doing is it's automatically sending information from one tool to the other. We use it in a lot of different cases. For example, something we'll do is we will send information from Kartra automatically to Asana. So we have that to do in Asana and we don't have to manually input it. But yeah, there's so much you can do there. Another tool that I do use for filming and one that I am using right now is called QuickTime. This is a simple tool that comes free if you have a Mac computer. And this is what I use for a lot of my filming for YouTube. Next up is accounting. You definitely need an accounting system for your online business. I use QuickBooks online. I love it. I think it's really easy to use. They have a ton of integrations. So I would highly recommend that you check that one out. Okay, this is a long list. Next up is plan. This is what allows me to plan out my Instagram feed ahead of time and be more organized with my Instagram strategy. So if you want to stop just posting at the last minute and you want to get more organized ahead of time, then definitely check out plan. Okay, the next one is essential. If you are booking appointments or calls online, you need to use an online scheduler like Acuity. Acuity is the one I use. You can also use a tool like Calendly, but basically what you no longer want to do is send those emails back and forth, trying to figure out a time that will work for you to have a meeting, for example. So rather than doing that, you can actually just send people a link where they can book in to your calendar. It eliminates all those emails and it makes things much more efficient. Next up, we have Crowdcast. If I ever want to host a live training, a live webinars for you guys, if I ever want to do that, then I will use the tool Crowdcast. I've used it for a few years. It has always been so reliable for live trainings. I love it. It's really easy to use. You can bring on guests as well if you would like. There's an awesome live chat feature there for all your attendees. It is overall a great experience for any sort of live training that you want to do. Next up, let's talk team communication. For this, I am using Slack. Sometimes I'll be able to just keep conversations within Asana if it's specific to tasks that have already been decided on but otherwise we need to have some conversations. We need to go back and forth. That's where Slack comes in. It's really easy to organize all the different topics that you might need to talk about, to send direct messages to team members, also have group chats and in general, have lots of fun because you can send gifts back and forth and <laughs> brighten up your teammates day. But obviously communication is super important and I do really love using Slack. Next up, we have iMovie. This is how I edit any of my videos for YouTube. It is very convenient. It's a free tool that comes with your Mac computer and it's just super simple. It's basically going to make your editing process just really nice and easy. So if you are a beginner, I would definitely check out this tool. Again, I'll leave a training for you in the description below showing you exactly how to edit your videos. Next up is one that I don't talk about a lot, and that is proof. This is what allows us to add to our sales pages little notifications that show you that other people have recently purchased that product. So it's a really cool and unique way of displaying social proof on your pages, showing others that people are excited about this product and they are investing in it. So it's just a little pop-up at the bottom, um, but it definitely increases conversion. So if you want to add something like that to your sales pages, I would recommend proof. Another way you can increase conversions is by adding live chat to your sales pages. 
We use the tool Chatra. I love it. It makes it so easy to have sales conversations with people that are checking out your programs. And they also have an app so that you won't miss any of these conversations if you happen to be away from your desk. I also love the fact that it pops up automatically on your sales pages. You can say hello, you can give a little custom message, let them know that you're there to answer questions and it helps create that sense of ease during the buying process. They know someone is there to answer any of their questions. Next up, we have an obvious one. This is one that everyone is now using as of 2020, and that is Zoom. This is how we have our team meetings every single week and ever if I need to have meetings with contractors or podcast interviews, most generally it's happening via Zoom. Next up, I wanted to mention three tools that I use for YouTube. Keywords Everywhere is how I do my keyword research. Then I use TubeBuddy to help me figure out if I would actually be able to rank for those keywords. And then I use Epidemic Sound to add any songs as background music. Okay, we are almost at the end. Another tool that I use whenever I'm doing keyword research is Uber Suggest. You can actually do some searches for free. So go ahead and check that one out. This will help you see the competition of different keywords and whether you should create some content around those keywords. Next is payments. How do I actually accept payments in my online business? For that, I have both a Stripe and PayPal account, and then we give people the option at checkout for which one they want to use. Next, we have the tool Ad Event. If I'm ever doing a live training like a challenge and I want people to be able to add the event to their calendar so that they get reminders there as well. Then I'll use this tool add event. It's going to allow you to add this to your thank you page and to your emails so that people can automatically add the event to their calendar and get reminders. The next tool is one that makes getting transcripts of your content easy. So I'll use this for when I want to add a transcript to my online courses of those videos. And also if I want to take my YouTube videos and add them to my blog, if I do that, I want the transcript below it and I can use this tool Temi, which makes it very affordable to get a full transcript. And finally, the last tools are actually on my phone. I use two main apps on my phone for business. I use Tezza to edit my photos and videos. They just have really great filters and editing adjustments so you can improve the appearance, the aesthetic overall of your photos or videos. I use that one. And also if I want to edit any videos or reels on my phone, then I love to use the tool InShot because it just makes it really nice and simple and fast to make those sorts of edits. Okay, that was a long list. Clearly there's a lot of tools that I am using. Now I would love to hear from you. Let me know what your top number one tool in your online business is. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful and gave you some ideas of tools that you can add to your online business as well to be more efficient and more streamlined. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with another video.